Hello friends, it's Christy Marcotte. In today's video, I'll be using Honeybee Stamps Lovely Layers Barnwood Fence, Lovely Layers Autumn Bouquet. For a sentiment, I have the stamp set Kind People and Coordinating Honeycut Dies. And for pattern paper, I'm using the new Pinstripes and Polka Dots Harvest Collection. And I almost forgot, for the background, I did use the new Fancy Fall Layering Frame Die Set. I selected a lovely light blue tone-on-tone -tone polka dot paper for the background. The Fancy Fall Layering Frame Set adds a beautiful border detail all along the outside edge. At the bottom of the card, I'm adding a piece of green cardstock that I cut out using Honeybee Stamps Grass Border Die Set. With the etch detail from the die set, I did put some double-sided adhesive tape on the back of the polka dot panel before adhering it onto a card base. And this is an American standard A2 size card, four and a quarter inches by five and a half inches. I used craft cardstock for the fence, and I'm adding a little extra ink using Distress Oxide Vintage Photo Ink Color. I'll put some along the edge of all of the borders and a little extra at the very bottom of the fence for shadows. Now I'll adhere the fence pieces together using Honeybee Stamps Precision Tip Glue. I love all the beautiful edge detail on the fence pieces. If you love making fall cards like I do, make sure you check out the entire Heartfelt Harvest release from Honeybee Stamps. They really outdid themselves this month. So many amazing stamp and die sets. For the crossboards, not sure it really matters which direction you put them. I was trying to line it up to see what I liked best. Once the fence is all adhered, I'll put glue on the back and add it onto my card. And as you can see, it takes up almost the entire A2 size card. The large fence image works really well with many of the stamp and die sets in the new Heartfelt Harvest release. I use many of the dies from the new Lovely Layers Autumn Bouquet set, and I'll be adding just a little extra ink to the yellow pieces. For the flowers, I'm using Catherine Pooler's Sauna Ink Color, adding it just to the very top of the beautiful yellow flowers. I'll set those aside for now and grab all of the wheat stalks. This time I'm using Honeybee Stamps Metallic Gold Ink. I'll lightly press my finger onto the ink pad and gently rub some of the beautiful gold ink on the edge of all of the wheat stock pieces. It's a very subtle touch, but it does add just that little bit of gold shimmer. Now I'll glue the yellow flowers onto the stalks. I think these look like dandelions, but you could make them purple. I think they would pass for thistles as well. But that's always the fun part of making cards. You can always use non-traditional colors for a completely different look. As I'm recording this voiceover, I'm already picturing the fence in a pretty pink color. I finished assembling one of the dandelion stems. Now I'll work on the second one. I'm only using three of the dye images from the Lovely Layers Autumn Bouquet set, but there are several others. Plus, you can mix and match them with other Honeybee Stamps foliage die sets. I finished assembling the dandelions. Now it's time to start gluing down all of the pieces in front of the fence. For most of them, I'll glue them down directly, but I will put foam dimension behind the flowers of the dandelions. I'm starting on the right side with one of the leafy branches, and I'm adhering it toward the top of the fence you may notice this stem is sort of floating there. Well, don't worry, that area will be covered up with the sentiment. Next, I'll add a couple of the wheat stalks, tucking one of them behind some of the leaves of the branch. Then I'll add another branch toward the bottom, trying to figure out where I wanna place it without covering up too much of the other pieces. And another wheat stalk, putting it up just a little bit higher. Now I'll add one of the leafy branches on the left side in front of the fence. I love all of the beautiful etch detail on all of the die cut pieces. I love featuring pretty pattern paper on my cards, but sometimes it's fun to play with a variety of different die sets. And Honeybee Stamps never disappoints with their fun die sets. 
I am planning on doing a video focusing on their beautiful Homestead Harvest Paper Pad. Hopefully that'll be coming later this month. If you haven't seen the new paper pad, I highly recommend it. I know it's been very popular with this new release. On the back of the dandelion flower, I'm adding a thin foam square. I'll remove the release paper, put glue on the back of the stem and leaves, and add both of the dandelion pieces on the left side of the card in front of the fence. I'll place one just a little bit higher than the second set. I do have some of the stems going off the end of the card. Once the glue dries, I'll flip over the card, use my scissors, and trim off the extra. I still have one more wheat stalk. I'll add that on the right side of the card. And one more leafy branch, I'll put that on the left side of the card. I'll put glue on the back and adhere the last die cut in place. Now I'll flip over the card, use my scissors, and trim off all the overhang stem pieces. For a sentiment, I've already stamped and cut this out. Kind people are my kind of people. This is a great sentiment and a nice large size. Using the coordinating honeycut die, I cut out a second piece from some dark brown cardstock, and I'll glue the two pieces together, creating a brown drop shadow underneath the sentiment. Now I'll flip it over, put thin foam dimension on the back. I'll make sure to add plenty of foam dimension on the back side so there isn't one area that sags. Remove the release paper and add my sentiment on the lower portion of the card. With all the fun images and beautiful detail, I decided not to add any embellishments. I love how this card turned out. I lived in North Dakota for many years, and a fence with wheat or dried grass and dandelions was a very typical thing to see there. If you are interested in any of the products I used in this video, I do have links provided in the description box below. Thank you so much for watching, and I hope you have a wonderful day.